If you have a stem cell therapy with R3 stem cell, either here in the US or internationally, how often are you gonna to need to have that treatment repeated? Well, this is Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell. I'm gonna let you in on some secrets here of what you need to know. A lot of patients are not very pleased when they talk to our providers and they hear that the stem cell therapy they're gonna be getting isn't going to cure whatever they're dealing with, whether it's their knee pain, whether it's their diabetes or whatnot. That would be the holy grail, right? Is to get a stem cell therapy one and done, and then that's it for the rest of your life. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that, but it can be a nice long-term beneficial procedure. Here's an example. We have patients who come into our centers and our providers will do knee injections and they'll get really good results for three or four years, right? And then they might need to undergo it again. Some are not as long, it might be one to two years, but when you look at the fact that up to 40% of people are just not happy with their knee replacement after a year, and that's a bur bridge that's been burned, it's not such a bad alternative, right? A very safe procedure, it's very effective, minimal, if any, downtime, and it's non-surgical, okay? If you have a much more serious condition, let's say you come to our Tijuana or Cancun clinic in Mexico to get treatment for, say, multiple sclerosis, studies and our experience shows that you're going to need a repeat therapy every year, okay? Because after a year, the benefits will start to diminish, and you can reestablish those benefits by getting a repeat therapy, all right? So it's gonna vary based on what type of issue you're dealing with, how severe that is, and there are individual differences between you and you know other people uh, who have the same exact type of issue. All right, if you like what you're hearing, please smash that like button.